Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, we are ready. During Thursday's police press briefing, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Gold Commander for the 2023 Carnival Festivities, Assistant Commissioner of Police Collis Hazel, expressed confidence that the police service is prepared to handle all possible situations that may occur during the carnival period. He said consultations began with various stakeholders since November 2022 and all are on board with the strategies in place during this season. Approximately 800 police, 300 officers from the Trinidad and Tobago Defence Force and other agencies will provide support on the streets of Port of Spain. You can expect the various types of security patrols on Carnival Day. We will be there out and about on foot, mobile, aerial patrols, in, on the sea, on bicycles, on motorbike. We, you just name it, and we have it in terms of even drones, in terms of ensuring our patrols for safety. ACP Hazel has asked for the support of the public in order to maintain law and order. This is not an opportunity for anyone seeking to participate in crime and criminality to take any chance. And I applaud Employ all of you, members of the public, to think twice. If you are thinking about crime and criminality in Carnival throughout Trinidad and Tobago, think twice. Wrecking will also be in effect unless a permit is obtained by the TTPS to traverse the streets of the capital city. Wrecked vehicles will be housed at the Licensing Division office on Risen Road, Port of Spain. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.